Hi, this is Barkley Bixler with Redeem. I'm excited to start a new series today on policy creation and application. First, a little bit about myself. My team and I are responsible for all the support and implementation of our products. We support over 600 customers and have done hundreds of implementations. We've learned a lot about power management and are anxious to share our knowledge with you. So, without further ado, let's get started with video number one, which is using data to determine how to set up a policy. Currently, we're looking at our administrative console and our device view. This uh, environment that we're looking at is a typical corporate environment, Monday through Friday schedule, a little bit of work on the weekends. What we're going to do is we're going to analyze some data that we've been collecting with users in their typical use pattern, something we call their baseline period. And we're going to create a policy, which is a series of schemes and power state transitions that are tailored around the user's activity so that we can maximize our savings while minimizing the impact of power management on the user. To do this, we're going to use a built-in report within Surveyor called the Computer State Activity Report. The Computer State Activity Report shows the state of systems throughout a day, either on a daily basis or an hourly basis. In this case, first thing we're going to look for is typical use patterns. We want to make sure that the data that we're analyzing represents typical use and doesn't have any anomalies in it, like a holiday or some type of company event. So what I've done here is taken a two week period of data that I know is during our baseline period, which is a period of time where Surveyor only collects data, doesn't apply any policies, and I'm analyzing it to make sure that the use patterns are consistent. And what we see here is that at the beginning of this period, in the beginning of May, we actually have a day that has less use than the next Monday. So there must have been a holiday or some type of company event there. So based on this data, we can see that we have very typical use patterns Monday through Friday and into the weekend. So we're going to update our report to those days, verify that we still believe that to be the case. So in this graph that we're looking at, orange represents the computer being on, light green represents the computer in standby, and dark green represents the computer off. This line that I'm looking at here represents user activity. And we see now that we have typical five-day user activity with a little activity on the weekend. So now we're going to dig into this data a little deeper so we can identify specifically how we want to set up our policy. And to do that, we're going to switch to the hourly view, and also we're going to limit our view to three days so that we can easily review the data. So in looking at this data, we can see that there is a typical use curve that looks to be the same every day where the users start their work at 8 a.m. and the user activity drops off at about 7 p.m. However, the first drop off occurs at 5 p.m. and we can see that occurs each day. We can also see when we expand our graph through the weekend that there is a very low amount of user activity on the weekend and so when we're setting up our policy we're not going to have to worry about having a specific weekend policy available. So based on this information what we will do with our policy in the next video is create a policy that at 8 a.m. has what we would call a typical daytime scheme, which is a less aggressive policy where the systems don't go to sleep as quickly so that while users are active, they can stay working and their systems will not go to sleep. And then at 5 p.m., we will apply a more aggressive scheme so that as users end their day and leave and stop working, the systems will start to go to sleep.